Hi there, my name is Dave Friesen. I'm from CJS, and I'm here today to talk to you about the DSS knife gate valve. The DSS knife gate valve has evolved over time. From more than 40 years ago, when the first generation of product was brought onto the shores of North America, this fourth generation takes us to a whole new level. We've done that with a supply chain that is known and understood. We've done it with a manufacturing base that has existed and been building some version of this valve for more than 40 years. We have a proven expertise in the world of high alloys. We have a proven expertise in project management and delivering things on time and on budget. That's an exciting opportunity for our customers that we at CGIS and DSS take very seriously, and we look forward to supporting you. The first design feature that we want to talk about today is the round port of the DSS knife gate valve. Uh, in, within the industry, if we look at this type of design, uh, what you'll see quite often is internal gate guides, and those are present to hold the gate in place. Uh, by using a true round port, what we do is we reduce the erosion related to turbulence that happens when the solids are trundling through the pipeline system. The second design feature we want to talk about is the dual seals of the DSS knife gate valve. The first seal, the inboard seal, seals up against the gate and provides zero leakage isolation through the port of the valve. It is 30% larger in diameter, creating a larger contact patch on the surface of the gate, um, which gives us enhanced sealability. The outboard seal that we use is designed to seal between the body halves, so we, uh, things like uh, pipe stress will have less of an effect on the DSS knife gate valve. The third design feature we want to talk about with the DSS knife gate valve is the wider gates. We mentioned earlier that we have a round port within the valve. That port is designed to match the adjacent pipe. By using external gate guides or a wider gate, we're still able to hold that gate in place. A key component, when we stroke that gate down and come across solids at the bottom of the port, we need to create that shearing effect. By holding that gate externally, we create a round port and still have the ability to shear solids. The next feature we want to talk about is the dual transverse seals within the DSS knife gate valve. The two seals provide an added layer of protection to the environment that's demanded in the marketplace today. How the, the device works is the green packing that you can see in the picture here energizes the elastomer seal onto the surface of the gate. By adjusting the packing screws on the side here, we compress that packing and hence energize onto the surface of the gate, that sealing mechanism. That's critically important and it allows the valve to be repacked in line under pressure, whether it be fully open or fully closed. That second seal, again, gives us that added layer of protection that's demanded to, in today's environmental world. The next feature I want to talk about is the top structure of the DSS knife gate valve. While the critical component, obviously, is the pipe that sits within the system, if this doesn't work, this doesn't work. So the important thing when we start looking at the DSS knife gate valve is we have a common top structure between the 150 and 300 class design, which gives incredible flexibility and value to our customers because we can interchange components as required. We use a minimum of four bolts on either side to make sure that we, uh, we have structural rigidity with the top structure and how it's attached to the valve. We use an OSHA conforming lockout pin, a larger diameter stem for ease of operation, an SA660 bronze nut, again, for ease of operation, and a hand wheel that no millwright can break. That was a quick look at the DSS knife gate valve. Uh, please uh, come to cgis.ca uh, to find out more. Uh, we're very excited about the opportunities that uh, we have to work with our customers on this brand new product.